Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. It is so good to see you guys again. My name is Nick and today we are here at Dipped Auto Works where I'm going to have this hood right here painted. This hood right here, uh, you guys might recognize this as off of the McLaren Senna. Now it won't fit directly off the McLaren Senna, so it's just the styling of it. Although the McLaren Senna is the same chassis as the 720, this hood, uh, if it was a Senna hood, would be about three or four inches wider on both sides. One thing I wanna show you guys is how light this thing is. I'm literally just one finger, I could pick this whole thing up extremely light, but I'll be unable to carry this and film at the same time. So I'm gonna have to use both hands to get this thing over there. There's also a car over there that is very, very cool and that I would like to show you guys. All right, guys. So you can see we are here at Dipped Auto Works. We got a beautifully wrapped gold Huracan. This is a really unique color where they did the all the Nardo gray all over this car. This, I believe, is the owner's 720 right here. I've seen Hidden Hills around quite a bit. This GT3 RS, and right here we have an acid green GT2 RS. This car had been for sale at Iluso for a little while and definitely caught my eye because, man, how could you not love a GT2 RS in this color? It is absolutely breathtaking. I 100% love the color of this car. If this car is still here and my hood is done, I can't wait to see how close the color is to this. They have specific mixing instructions for PPG, so everything should be matching. You can see the owner just pulled up in that awesome Urus Performante behind me. They got this really awesome sounding Alfa Romeo, but well, let's take one last look at this acid green. This car is here to get PPF'd and my God, it is absolutely gorgeous. I wished that this was my car. Unfortunately, the GT2 RS is a little bit elevated in price for me. You can see the carbon fiber stripes go right over the roof all the way back. Man, this car is awesome. Now, some of you guys might be saying, what is the difference between a GT3 RS and a GT2 RS? Well, we have two here, right here. This car is turbo, this car is not turbo. You can see the big difference and the air inlets in the front. Huge air inlets in the front, it's very much smaller. You know, you have the big carbon louvers on the fenders right here. Definitely not carbon on this car, which was an option. Big carbon air inlet here, not carbon here. Oh, you can see this one has BBS FIRs with the lightweights where they drilled out the holes in the wheels right there. Really, really dope. And one of the main differences here on the back on the GT3 center up exhaust and over here we have the dual exhaust. You can see this car has air inlets on the back to suck air into those giant turbos and this one does not. So there's your rundown of the main things that differentiate these two cars from each other. But the main thing is definitely the horsepower numbers. I believe this car is close to 700 horsepower and this car is around 525-ish. Some of you guys might be thinking, why do they do this sticker on the car? It looks so bad. They do that because it saves weight. If you're in that car, their goal is to go around the track as fast as possible in the most comfort. So you still have AC and everything, but you could have gotten deleted in that car. You could have deleted the passenger seat as well. That was one thing that they did on those cars as standard as putting the emblems on as stickers. All right, guys, so I'm at my buddy Don's house right now. He's on the way. This is actually his old house. He has moved and he has asked me to help him with this car. We're gonna get this thing started. This car is a BMW 135i 1M clone. So it does have the 1M wide body kit on it. You can see it's wider all the way around. Big single turbo in the front here. We're gonna have to try to connect this blow off valve here, which will be a trick because I don't have the proper snap ring pliers. I did not know that this was disconnected. So I'm gonna try to do it with a screwdriver. Wish us luck. Um, as you can see, we got the HRE wheels, 
Brembo big brake kit, which has no brake dust on it because I don't think it's ever been driven hard. Brand new R888s on here. And you can see the interior is also full race car with the cage. Uh, he's got the BMW M Performance steering wheel. And uh, I believe this is an aftermarket head unit for this car. Uh, you can see he's got the carbon fiber door cards right here. This car is going up for sale. And if you guys know anything about what all of this costs to actually do, this car is an extreme value. Um, he's asking about $30,000 for it. So if you would like to purchase this car, this car is going up for sale soon and you can hit me up on my Instagram or comment below and I'll put you in touch with Don. You can see here on the back, he's got the Akrapovich exhaust. Don is the type of person to always use the best of the best parts. He does not skimp on anything. Anything that you see on this car, it's been done the correct way with the correct parts. Let's try to get that blow up valve connected uh, while we wait for him to come here so we can try to get this car started. All right, so we took this little charger off of the car, probably didn't do anything when we got this beast hooked up to here. This is a NOCO GX, GBX 155. It's It'll put out 4,250 amps, which is more than enough to start a semi truck. So hopefully, it'll start this car. This car and the E92 M3 is definitely a car that is super hard to start once the battery's died. And I could not even jump it with my diesel truck. This actually jumped the E92 M3 flawlessly and hopefully it'll start this car. All right, let's go, let's yeah. give it a try. Yeah. Hold up. All right, you ready to rock. to jump box you can get it on amazon i'm telling you if you have a little wimpy jump box this is the move and uh I, trust me you're not going to go to anything else after you have this all right guys so we got don's car finally to my house after some trials and tribulations after him stalling in the middle of the street but i'm here on the opposite side of town looking at this gorgeous e30 and it's not i almost said m3 it's not an m3 it's a 325 can see it's convertible it needs a little bit of work the steering wheel is a little wonky but i'm told that it's an alignment issue and this car is one of one of the cars i've always wanted so if you check this thing out it's got polished bottle caps i've never seen polished bottle caps from the factory apparently it's a very rare option it's an automatic which isn't a deal breaker for me um, the car doesn't really get up and go or get about of its own way, but uh, you know, we'll see. It's something I have to decide on and see if this is something that I really want. Here is the car with the top up. You can see they got the spare bottle cap on. That's what I usually see them like. They're not usually polished, but I'm really liking this car. I'm really liking it. It drives good. Uh, there's just a few things that definitely need to be addressed with this car you know definitely being a little bit older it would be something fun to share with my family and uh i really think my mom and my, my dogs will get a kick out of it things are looking promising all right so it is the next day and i have decided that i'm going to purchase the e30 but first with any car that I do, it needs to be lowered, which the E30 already is, and I can lower it or raise it if I need to on those coilovers. Uh, but I'm here, if you recognize that car or any of the cars that uh, this house brings, this is the famous Fast Dad house. And uh, I'm going to pick up a set of sweet 
HRE wheels here. I thought I would have been out of the HRE game after I sold the R8 uh, because I absolutely, that's my absolute favorite wheel brand. And uh, I'm gonna pick up these wheels here. They're definitely very period correct and I cannot wait to put them on the car. So I've decided to buy the car. I'm pretty excited about it. Mario, what do you think about it? It's sexy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's pretty sweet. I can't wait. You know, it's got a couple of dings in it. The paint is not perfect, but the interior is fantastic. We'll go into that in more detail later, but uh, we're gonna complete this transaction, get this thing home. You know me, I can't leave anything stock in pretty much any car that comes into this garage, besides the truck, has to be lowered and get wheels pretty much right away. So that's what we're doing. I haven't even owned the car for like two hours yet. We're putting new wheels on these. <laughs> go down that's the question we got to do if you guys think in this video once we get the car out should the front go down or should we raise the rear I'm kind of leaning towards the front needs to go down the car needs more low can I just can I tell, tell my opinion bro yeah sure just lower the front <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful from speed bumps oh that's a good one yeah. All right, let's go to the other side and do the other side. Let's go, bro. Cool. All right, guys, we got the wheels on the car, and I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the HRE, any HRE, but these look so period correct and so good on this car. Mario, what do you think? I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that looks it's sick, man. Damn. Yeah. The front definitely needs to go down. 100% the front needs to go down. So we're gonna do that. But let's get this thing out of the garage and kind of do a slow roll and see what this thing looks like. All right, guys, so we got the car out here. I, for one, think it looks fantastic. I'm loving the look right now. The front, the front left actually is a little bit lower than the front right. Um, you know what? After pulling it out, we are rubbing a little bit. I'm not sure how bad it is, but uh, if it's rubbing, if it's rubbing significantly, we're gonna have to raise up the rear to make it all level out. But uh, if not, I'm gonna bring down the front probably about an inch and that should make this car really just stanced out. Uh, there's, we have a lot of plans on this car. As you can see, the paint on here is definitely not perfect by any means, but it's pretty cool. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of this car in the next video, but I am super excited to have this. 
with all that being said, if you guys like this video, hit that like button below, smash it if that's something you wanna do. Subscribe if you already have it, and we're gonna see you guys in the next video. Stay free, my friends.